a retrospective case series involving 31 participants, average age of 50, all with serious and persistent mental illness, ranging from schizoaffective disorder to bipolar and major depressive disorder that have, this is a key, failed to respond to traditional psychiatric treatment and pharmacological interventions. We're given a low carbohydrate ketogenic diet for around two months on average. Now, what they did was they measured their fasting blood glucose, they measured their blood pressure, they measured their weight loss, but they also measured their reduction in symptoms based on different questionnaires and Oswestries and, and things like that. So what they actually found was within about three weeks, there was a 68% reduction in depressive symptoms on average. There was a 68% reduction in the usage of medications, and 68% of them either reduced the usage of medication or even ceased uses of medication. All participants, all 28 that completed the trial out of the 31, had major improvements in mood and psychotic symptoms, psychiatric symptoms. Very impressive. A 45% reduction in schizophrenic symptoms as well, and those with schizoaffective disorder, which is uh, pretty much a midpoint between schizophrenia and bipolar disorder. Disease severity decreased by 60% on average as well. Not to mention, they lost 10.8 pounds on average, and this was within three weeks. They had improvements in blood pressure, and fasting blood sugar levels, fasting blood glucose. Pretty amazing stuff. These people were not responding to medication or traditional psychiatric treatment. They have major depressive disorder, schizoaffective disorder, bipolar, these are serious things. And the diet made all the difference when all else had failed. So what do you think we should do first? If we're feeling depressed, we need to improve our mood. We use the example of feeding your gut bacteria. They produce short-chain fatty acids, affect levels of serotonin in your brain, your happy hormone slash neurotransmitter. Your gut, your body, your health, your nutrition, what you feed yourself is intimately related with your mood, how you think, and of course, how your body functions overall. Now, the diet consisted of 5% carbohydrates, okay, made up from the daily caloric intake, was only 5% carbohydrates, it was 15% protein, and a whopping 80% healthy fats. Unsaturated fatty acids, for the most part, coming from things like fatty fish, salmon, mackerel, tuna, herring, extra virgin olive oil, avocado, nuts, seeds, etc. So pretty powerful stuff. That's what we got for you guys today. I hope you got something out of it. I hope it was useful, or at least interesting. Have a great rest of your day and happy wind wellness. We'll see you tomorrow with something else that's pretty cool or with a great workout where we murder ourselves. Okay, bye.